Hi, I'm Casey Kushiyama, and I'm the head women's basketball coach. And I'm Lisa Kushiyama, and I'm the head cross country and track and field coach here at Puget Sound. And we're here to introduce you and show you around the fitness center here at Puget Sound. We have a unbelievable uh, facility here. It's about 12,500 12, square feet. We have, as you can see, a bunch of racks. Upstairs, we have all of our bikes and cardio machines, and we're gonna show you around the rest of the fitness center. Here in Puget Sound, we offer a number of different classes that utilize the fitness center. They range from strength and conditioning classes to circuit training and anything else you can think of across the board. Yeah, we also have a great strength and conditioning coach, um, and we uh, are, are constantly working in the, in the weight room and working out, using all of the spaces, using all of the racks, uh, the pulleys, TRX, uh, everything that we can do to, to gain an advantage, whether it's on the playing field, on the court, uh, or even in the pool or pitch. Hi, my name is Craig Bennett and I am our Director of Sports Medicine here at the University of Puget Sound. I am one of three full-time athletic trainers that is responsible for coordinating the medical services for all of our logger student athletes. Uh, right now we're in our sports medicine facility. <clears throat> this is where we take care of the sports medicine needs for uh, all of our student athletes and provide basic medical services that include injury evaluation, uh, injury treatment, rehabilitation, uh, and then we do everything we need to do taking care of uh, basic injuries to longer term rehabilitation uh, that might require a little bit more time and utilizing of our facilities and our modalities that we have here. Uh, we have three full-time athletic trainers and a staff of uh, a few part-time athletic trainers. Uh, we're very fortunate in our sports medicine facility here we have our team physician's office uh, that uh, our student athletes can utilize and our team orthopedic surgeon comes in on Monday evenings and our other physician is a family physician just like a family physician that you would have at home but also has a sports medicine fellowship and he comes in on Tuesdays uh, so we're fortunate to have both of our physicians here on campus in our sports medicine facility uh, two days out of the week and if we need to we can contact and communicate with them as they understand just as our staff does that as student athletes we have a little bit uh, more of a sense of urgency in determining uh, our medical uh, necessities and what we need to do to take care of our injuries. And so having our team physicians on campus and having regular access to them throughout the week uh, is very important. And so uh, we have everything from two traditional modalities here uh, as well as we try to utilize as much uh, hands-on manual therapy and treatment as we can at the same time. One of the things that we try to prov provide for our student athletes as often as we can is an understanding of how can you take care of yourself and how do you learn how to recover? What can we do to help you in between practices and competitions that give you the opportunity to recover for the next day so that you can get the most out of your intercollegiate student athlete experience here at the University of Puget Sound. Jason Hand. Hello. Been here for seven years. Meredith has been here in some capacity for seven years, but now she is a full-time athletic trainer here at the University of Puget Sound. And then I have been here for 15 years, and what a great place this is. Welcome to Wallace Pool. This athletic facility opened in 2016. It replaced the original Wallace Pool from 1857. This state-of-the-art facility is known as one of the fastest pools here in the Pacific Northwest. In addition to the lanes that we have here, we also have spectator seating. In addition, we have spectator seating for all those who come in. We host various groups in here, and there's hundreds of students that come and access the facility. We have kayakers, water polo team, and other individuals that utilize the facilities. This also hosts our varsity teams for cross training and other athletic purposes. Hey, I'm Coach Simons with the Men's and Women's Tennis Program here at Puget Sound. Uh, if you choose to come here, this is where you get to play tennis every darn day. We have it pretty good here as loggers. I mean, of course, every day it's a great day to be a logger, but we have it really good here uh, with the tennis program. We're just steps away from sports medicine, steps away from the pool, steps away from my office when we gotta go meet and put together our plan for how we're gonna win this season. We're just steps away from the fitness center, and but quite honestly, the best part of this is, is we have six beautiful indoor courts, uh, new roof, new ceiling last year, so we're really thankful to be out here. Um, so no matter what's going on on the outside, you're able, always able just a couple steps away from out. From you're just a couple. No matter what's going on on the outside, you're just a couple steps away from playing out here on your own court. So uh, we practice here, we play our matches here, and um, really thankful to have these courts. Hi, my name is Aubrey Shelton. I'm the men's basketball coach here at Puget Sound, and welcome to Memorial Fieldhouse. 
This is our historic, historic arena. It's been here since 1949. Um, and this is where we have our men's and women's basketball games as well as our women's volleyball team play. Uh, it's an incredible venue. It's got an old school feel. Um, you can fit, I think, two or 3,000 people. And our student section is the best in the entire conference. And this facility, this gym, is the best in the conference. Um, and it's so exciting to play games here. Uh, our, our student athletes really support one another. So at our basketball games, you'll see football players and baseball and softball and lacrosse, like they'll all be there cheering us on. Um, the same for volleyball, we'll be out there supporting as well. Um, it's an incredible environment, and it's a really fun place to be. Um, just a couple words about me. Uh, I actually went to school here as well. I graduated in 05, and then got my master's in teaching in 06 as well. So two-time graduate. And I'm from Tacoma. I, I grew up here in Tacoma. I went to Lincoln High School. So this place is home to me. I'm so excited to be back here now, uh, going on my third year of coaching. Um, and and it, so particularly for Tacoma kids, uh, Tacoma students, like I know what it's like to go to school here, the pride of being here local in Tacoma. Uh, this is, again, this is home. Um, the campus is absolutely gorgeous as, you, as you've seen. Um, so it's a very special place. The indoor facility for baseball and softball was opened in January of 2019. The turf facility houses two 70-foot cages, one tee cage, and two indoor mounds. The cages were set up with the versatility to allow the teams to use it as one large turf area or up to five separate hitting areas. The indoor mounds allow pitchers and catchers to throw bullpens as well as face live hitters. With a combination lock on the doors, it also allows student athletes easy access to work on their craft outside of normal practice hours. Logger's softball field sits to the left of the Athletics and Aquatic Center on part of East Field. With another gorgeous view of Mount Rainier, it is one of the most scenic fields on campus. The facilities team does an amazing job ensuring that the field is maintained and ready to go for each practice and game. Next to the field are batting cages and bullpen facilities for the athletes, along with their own clubhouse and team room which is attached to the home dugout. Lager Baseball Field was opened in the spring of 2000 on the southern tip of campus. It is a natural surface field with a gorgeous view of Mount Rainier out behind center field. The facility added stadium seating and a new press box in the spring of 2017, along with a new indoor hitting facility down the left field line in the spring of 2019. The team also has their own clubhouse attached to the home dugout, which is a place for players to spend time with each other before and after practice and games.